Hello, everyone. My name is Jared Kettinger, and I will be your host today for our Amtrak Vacations presentation on round trip rail vacations. I'm so happy to have you folks here with me on the presentation today. Now let's dive in because we have quite a lot of ground to cover on the presentation as we go forward. So overall, what will we cover today? Of course, important things that you should know when thinking about planning and when actually traveling by train. Popular destinations for you yourself to consider for your next rail vacation and how you can route your next vacation by way of train from your most local hometown station. Simple as that. Now, as we go forward, there are two distinct brands that you folks should be aware of. The host brand of the presentation today is Amtrak Vacations. But we are also here rail bookers, folks. So what's an Amtrak Vacation? What's a rail booker's independent rail holiday? Well, what we do here isn't just the train tickets, but an overall vacation experience where we bundle and organize and plan and package the hotel stay, sightseeing, excursions, activities, all sorts of wonderful experiences when you go to destinations all throughout the USA and all around the world along with the incredibly scenic, relaxing, and for many folks, bucket list or once in a lifetime experience of going on board the train. Now with Amtrak Vacations, as its name would suggest, that is travel here within the contiguous United States. But with our other brand here, Real Bookers, we cover Europe, Canada, we do Alaska, we do Australia, we do Africa, and the rest of the world. So wherever you're looking to go, we can most likely help you. Now, where can you travel to by train? And very relevant to the topic of the presentation today, where can you travel from by train? Well, everywhere on this map you folks are seeing a bright red line. That's a route that Amtrak travels on. Everywhere you're seeing a little white dot, that is one of 500 different train stations that Amtrak travels through. And the little dark stars are where we indicate where our vacation packages throughout the USA and some in Canada go to. Again, where we package hotels, sightseeing, and of course, the wonderful train experience. And whether you're looking and planning or booking for now, for travel for this month, next month, this season, this year, year a year out, or two years from now, we can help you with all of the above. Of course, I'd like to say here from today, 2024. Now, why do travelers love traveling, booking, and planning with us here at Amtrak Vacations? Well, number one, you aren't left to your own devices to try and figure it out. When you're working with us, you are planning it, your next vacation, with a rail expert who has that rail expert knowledge and can help educate you and plan. Our planners, our consultants, our rail experts, they know the best routes. They know the best times to travel, and they can answer your questions. Also, again, whether you're planning for travel today or two years from now, we can help with all of the above. We have a maximum flexibility of when you can go because for most of the trains, they're traveling out consistently, constantly. And wherever you're looking to go, we most likely have the availability. So as we like to say, we can send you to pretty much almost any destination on almost any date or whatever length of time you're traveling to go there. As long as the train is going, if the destination is available to go to, so do we and so do you. Because we're Amtrak vacations and rail bookers, we have the largest rail vacation selection worldwide. Whether it's travel throughout here in the United States, in Europe, in Canada, so on and so forth. Whether you're looking to go for 
a long weekend trip. Go cross country. Go for two weeks to bumper to bumper from country to country throughout Europe. Whether you're looking to just extend off of a previously booked trip, maybe you're booked onto a river cruise or a Mediterranean cruise or an Alaska cruise, and you want to explore in Europe or in Scandinavia or Alaska before or after your trip, we can help with all of the above. And feel free to try and stump us here because as we like to say, no rail trip is too complicated for us. So feel free to call us with some doozies. Now, what options overall are available with Amtrak Vacations? Well, we can customize any of our 4,800 packages across our Amtrak Vacations and Railbookers brands to fit your particular travel needs, such as taking an already put together itinerary and adding a destination to it, adding extra nights at the destination you're visiting, or even subtracting them if you want to go shorter rather than longer. Again, we will talk about on this presentation how you can go round trip from your most local hometown. We can organize that for you here with Amtrak Vacations. We can upgrade your rail tickets to from coach class to first class or one of the sleeper cabins, which we will address and show in a few moments. And we always include sightseeing, excursions, admissions, lots of wonderful experiences when you're on your journey at the destinations. But if there was something specific you wanted to see, do, or accomplish, just let us know. And as you get excited to start traveling with us and traveling on board the train, just know packing and preparing for your trip is simple and easy. You're allowed per person two free carry-on bags, as well as two check bags. Luggage, by the way, is very easy. It can be checked as close in as roughly 45 minutes ahead of time. And that goes right on with when we suggest getting to the station, roughly about an hour ahead of time. It's not like the airlines and the airports where you have to plan on getting there an hour and a half, up to two hours, and if you happen to be going international on flights, three hours ahead of time at the airport. You can get to the train station roughly an hour ahead of time, check your luggage roughly 45 minutes ahead of time, and comfortably and easily board the train. So let's talk about some of our exciting destinations, the packages to those destinations, and how you can experience going to those places routed round trip, starting and ending from a central point, whether it is a major hub Amtrak station or your most local station. For example, our number one selling destination here is Glacier National Park. With the Glacier National Park getaway traditionally being the most popular package to said destination. You can see that this itinerary is listed for that package going round trip from Seattle, meaning that the rail trip will pick up in Seattle, travel overnight to East Glacier, where the train station for Glacier National Park is. You'll then stay there for three nights or so, explore the park itself, then pick the train back up and travel overnight back to that starting from point, in this case, Seattle. It should be noted that you can, as we go through the presentation, delete the words of Seattle or Chicago or whatever hub we list the package in and put in your most local hometown station to you. That might be another hub station like a New York or a New Orleans or, or so on and so forth. That may also be a Poughkeepsie. It may be a Philadelphia. It may be a Route 128 in Massachusetts. It can be Bellevue, Washington. It can be Houston, Texas. We can rework our packages to start and end from the most local station to you. Now, as I mentioned, this particular itinerary starts and ends in Seattle, which is one of the more major stations. This one particularly servicing the Empire Builder route, 
The Empire Builder regularly ranking as the third most scenic rail route on the Amtrak system, making its way through the northern part of our great country between Seattle and Chicago or vice versa. And once you pick up the train, you will travel overnight out to Glacier National Park for a three night stay in Glacier at the Glacier Park Lodge. We also include a full day sightseeing tour of the park known as the Big Sky Circle Tour. They'll travel all through the park going up to going to the Sun Road to St. Mary Valley. You'll have plenty of opportunity for wildlife and uh, picture taking opportunity viewings. And then you'll pick up the train to head on back to Seattle or back on home after the duration of your stay. It should be noted that whenever you see a map such as this on an Amtrak vacations or rail bookers presentation, wherever there's a bubble with a number in it, that indicates the amount of overnights included at a hotel or lodge at the listed destination. In this case, three nights at the Glacier Park Lodge. And wherever you see a red arrow with a number in it, that lists the overnights included on board the train. So you can see it's an overnight from Seattle to Glacier Park, a three night stay in Glacier Park at the Glacier Park Lodge, and then an overnight to return back to Seattle. Also on these slides, you can typically see what's included, such as the Big Sky Circle Tour, and in this case, a very scenic boat cruise in the park itself and one meal included at the Glacier Park Lodge. Moving on, we have my favorite national park to highlight, Yellowstone, America's first established national park. This particular itinerary goes round trip, as you can see listed from Denver, but just to reiterate, we can readjust the packages to start from your most local station, whether you're coming from Jacksonville, Florida, whether you are coming from Denver as listed here, whether you're coming from Naperville, whether you're coming from St. Louis, we can readjust our packages and add the train from your most closest and convenient station to you. Now, I will say, going by way of Denver, one of America's most beautiful Amtrak stations and generic train stations, it's absolutely incredible there. I, whenever I'm in Denver, even if I'm not taking the train, I always find it's worth visiting there, walking in, seeing the beautiful white marbling, as well as the high columns and high ceilings. It really is like a step back into the years of uh, yesteryears of yore uh, and seeing what the highlight of traveling on board the train experience and that big bond vo voyage experience was actually like and still is. From here, from Denver, you will take the train on the California Zephyr, which regularly ranks as Amtrak's most scenic rail route as you travel through the Colorado Rockies during the day, during the daylight. You'll eventually end in Salt Lake City, which is the closest train station to Yellowstone. So what's convenient about Amtrak vacations is even if the train does not ex exactly 100% go to the destination you're looking to visit, we will get you by way of train to the closest station and then facilitate one way or the other in the package to get you to that place. So in this case, we will send you to Salt Lake City where you will start and end the Yellowstone portion of the trip at, and then we will send you on a really scenic, convenient motor coach connection up into Yellowstone for a two-night stay in the park, we will include the lodging in Yellowstone and do a full-day guided tour of the incredible geothermal features, wide open skies, wide open air, just absolutely immaculate beauty of the park itself in Yellowstone. And here is the listed map you can see. So the two nights included in Yellowstone, the connection up there and back by way of Salt Lake City, and the connection to Salt Lake City and back by way of Denver, going round trip, starting and ending in the same spot. Now, this next itinerary is kind of an extreme 
version of a round trip journey, but I always love highlighting it. It's called the Grand Rail Experience. It's basically the the grand loop around the country. This one hits Los Angeles, New Orleans, Washington, D.C., Chicago, Seattle, and back again, all on one trip. So it starts in Los Angeles, one of the major hubs of Amtrak. And whether you want to fly into, say, an LAX airport to pick up and end the trip, or have this itinerary readjusted from your local hometown, we can do all of the above, whatever is convenient for you, whatever makes mo most sense for you on your vacation. Once you jump on in Los Angeles, you'll take the Sunset Limited out to New Orleans for a stay in New Orleans adjacent to the French Quarter, one of the hotels there, with a sightseeing option of a couple of different tours for you to pick from to explore throughout this area. From there, you'll head up on the Crescent Route from New Orleans to our nation's capital of Washington, D.C., where you'll do a stay there, as well as a really in just absolutely amazing Monuments by Moonlight tour in the evening to see some of the, the highlights of the monuments all lit up in their big glory in their glory in the evening time which is really convenient because the tour guides are great they're very educational they're quite funny i've done the tour myself and the big convenience is that not only are you transported there to experience those monuments but in the evening time there's far less people there than there is in the daytime so you can get a little bit closer get better picture taking opportunities so on and so forth from there you'll head overnight on the capitol route out to Chicago to travel through the Windy City and then go back clear across the country on the Empire Builder to connect through Seattle and then down on the coast starlight route back to Los Angeles. So this is the Grand Rail Experience round trip starting and ending in LA in Los Angeles. We have multiple iterations of this, some that start in Chicago. Chicago, some, some that start closer on the East Coast, if you're more convenient from there, it is totally up to you what you would like to do. So we've covered some round trip itineraries. So let's go over what it is like on board the train for you. Well, here, folks, you can see coach accommodation. Two big, plush, comfy seats. I always like to point out the fact that there's no pesky middle seat to worry about on board the train. The seats themselves recline at a 45 degree angle, so very comfortable. There's plenty of leg room and a leg rest that'll kick up if you want to. A tray table that will fold down to hold drinks, snacks, devices, outlets to charge said devices, plenty of room above head for your carry-on luggage, and a nice big picture window to enjoy all the sights out of. Because that is the highlight of traveling on board the train. It's your own window on the world. Whether you're traveling up or down the east or west coast, through the Colorado Rockies, among the Great Lakes, or heading into one of America's great iconic cities, just experiencing all of that from the train, which is a highlight, which is the reason to go, as opposed to missing it all by plane, as opposed to being focused on the road by driving, that is one of the reasons you should want to travel with Amtrak and Amtrak Vacations. Now that was coach accommodations. Let me go over what it is important for you to know about the private sleeping accommodations on board the train. There are some key benefits to them, such as priority boarding onto the train ahead of the general admission. So if you do have a sleeper cabin, you will get ushered onto the train first in priority. And dedicated to your train cabin train car, say that five times fast, you will have a car attendant whose jobs are a plenty. Number one, they'll serve as almost like a concierge to give you some information, answer your questions during the travel, including knocking on the door on occasion to your cabin and saying, hey folks, in five, 10 minutes, make sure you're looking out your window 
because you're going to be going by XYZ beautiful scenery. They'll serve as a level of security to make sure there's no riffraff going on as you travel. As it lists here, they'll pro provide the included toiletries, bottled water, coffee. They'll help set up the bedding in the evening time. And they are just a generally wonderful service and people to have during your journey. And of course, to your cabin, you will have a privacy door. Now, one key thing is once that privacy door is shut and you're traveling in your own travel bubble, any required masks, which are currently required to be worn on board the train and throughout the train stations, can be removed. So that is just one quick highlight. And included within the cost of the sleepers is meals, is your meals for the duration of your journey, breakfast, lunch, dinner, from a full menu of options to choose from, cook to order. And as always, you can go and enjoy the meals in the traditional Amtrak dining car, which is another highlight. But if you want your meals provided right to your private sleeper, that is an option as well. So what do the sleepers look like? Well, here, folks, is the sleeper roomette. During the day, it has two big, plush, comfy seats, its own private big picture window, its own window on the world to enjoy all the sights out of. Everything folds down to bunk-style sleeping, and it is your own private cabin for the duration of your trip, of course. Now, it does list the private restroom and shower access in your train car. That means the private restroom and showers are down the hall. They're only those, uh, they're only for those rather, that are traveling in that train car. So you are not sharing with the general access for the rest of the train. That being said, if you want your own private bathroom and shower within the cabin itself, the next step up is the sleeper bedroom, which still folds down to bunk style sleeping as all of the Amtrak train cars do, or sleeper cars do, but it has its own private bathroom and shower within the room itself. It is also generally the bigger of the cabins on board the train. And here you can see what the diagram looks like of everything in the evening time. If you or someone you know who might be interested in travel may need to travel with a required ADA accessible cabin, no worries at all. They exist on the lower level of the train. They run the width of the train it's still bunk style sleeping, just so you know, but they are sizable enough to accommodate those traveling with walkers, wheelchairs. They have their own private sink and toilet within the cabin itself. And it's always nice to travel, but it's also good to save a little bit when you travel. Just so you know, there are some everyday discounts. Children aged 2 to 12 receive a 50% off the base rail ticket fare. Seniors 65 and over will receive a 10% discount off the base rail ticket fare. And then any active military personnel, spouses, dependents, and veterans of any age will receive a 10% discount off the base rail ticket fare. I do have to be honest and upfront. If you happen to be a senior and a veteran, it is one or the other. That is a very common question of can you apply both? Now, if any of you folks have any questions at all, do not hesitate to reach out to us. You can see the phone number right there. Chat with one of our Amtrak Vacations consultants on organizing and planning your next trip or just answering your questions. I want to thank you for signing on to the presentation today, and I look forward to seeing you folks again soon.